Hello and welcome. In this video I'm going to demonstrate uh, the installation and configuration of VAC which is the voice activation control software uh, used for gaming. And the first thing we need to do is we need to configure Windows Speech Recognition Engine. Well, currently I'm using Windows 7 and uh, the this configuration may be different depending on your particular operating system. So if we scroll down to we can see um, speech recognition here and we select that and we have a number of options and the first option is to set up the microphone I'm not going to go through this uh, because it's going to be different depending on your sound card and uh, sound devices but follow through the instructions here they're very self-explanatory and once the configuration is set up uh, just one point here you should really have a, a decent quality microphone um, in order to make VAC work accurately and the volume control should be set correctly so once the microphone is set up, you need to go to the train your computer section. And essentially what this does is, and you can read through it there, um, you've, got to, you've got to speak in some phrases and the speech recognition software will build up a profile of your voice and your intonations. So the more you spend on this part of it, uh, once again, the more accurate the speech recognition system is going to become. It can be done over time. You can come back to do, you can come back. You can start off and do maybe 15 minutes one session, and then you can come back and you can build on that. I recommend no less than um, one or two sessions for this. I think it's about 15 or 20 minutes in duration. So once that's done, we can now go and uh, install um, VAC. And I'm not going to go through the installation process, but I'm just going to go through the screen that you'll see when we start it up. VAC system is going to be installed in your program files, uh, depending on whether it's 32 or 64-bit system. Uh, it'll be in your A profile x86 if you've got 32-bit. Sorry, if you've got 64-bit because it's a 32-bit system. And there's two options we need to focus here on. There's the VAC builder option and there's the VAC system. We're going to work on the VAC builder because we don't have a profile in at the moment. So when we open the VAC uh, builder, you can see we're left with pretty much a blank screen. First thing to do is to go to File, uh, Load Profile. Uh, now you may have a profile already and most people is, are going to start with someone else's profile and modify it and this is the best way to do it. Um, so f just for the sake of this demonstration I'm going to start a new profile and I'm going to say New Profile and I'm going to call this New Profile A new profile and once we've got a new profile in the only uh, option here is the exit button is active and now we've put the new profile in and we've got the add um, button is active nothing else is available to us it's not necessarily that intuitive but and this is the way it works you've got to add a command in for it to get all the other um, uh, aspects of it available so the first thing we're going to do is going to add a command here and we're going to call this command stealth And notice when we put the the um, the command description in here, it's called an action description. We get a, a mirror of that in the activation phrase below, and it's important to understand that there's a difference between these two. The top is just basically a description of what you want, uh, what what may be happening. Um, it's got nothing to do with what the speech recognition engine is going to listen for. The activation phrase is the actual phrase that you speak um, into the system in order for it to take some action. So you can see here we've got one um, we've got one action description above and we've got one activation phrase below. We can change either of these and they are independent. When we set them up they're pretty much the same but we can change it. We can also add additional activation phrases and I'm going to do that now. So let's say for stealth, I'm going to add another one here, and I'm going to call it Go Prone. I'm going to add another one, and I'm going to call it Lie Down. Add another one. So you can see what we're, we're building up here. We have an action uh, that we want to um, take and it's got a generic description called stealth. But we can say a number of different um, things into the system in order to get that action to occur. 
and we haven't discussed yet what action we're going to get uh, it to do but for the moment we're just building up a picture of what we want to be able to tell it so you can see we've got um, four different things will do the same job basically so if we go across to uh, the command side we can now get this stealth action description to to do some work for us and what we do is you can see there's a default command there and we've got some qualifier keys and extended keys and so on on the right hand side here you can if you drop down the list of these you can see actually what they are so you can have for instance control C or control alt C or control alt Q but if we want to just put in separate characters we can put them in here now you can put in a character sequence here with no spaces if you want to the system to issue those characters um, essentially what this is going to do is it's going to act like a keyboard so essentially what we do is we speak one of these phrases in here and the system will issue a sequence of keystrokes as if we were typing it in in this case I'm just going to call this stealth so uh, what we're going what the system is going to do now is it's going to issue those keystrokes in sequence S T E A L T H it's not the ideal way to do things to have multiple keys in the same uh, command uh, because you may want to have a delay for instance or a pause between in keystrokes and that may be important depending on the software and how it manages commands but for the sake of the demonstration I'm just going to do it that way I'm also going to put in a second command here and this is what you'd normally do you'd separate your keystrokes into separate commands so I'm going to create command 2 uh, it's named 2 by default and I'm going to say test is a word we're going to use there so we see we go back on here we can see stealth test are the key sequences that uh, should be issued by the system when it recognizes any of these phrases so I'm going to build up a second command here and I'm going to add another command here and I'm going to call it stop and I'm going to add some additional phrases to this You're better off not putting apostrophes and stuff in and try and break the phrases into uh, phonetic sequences so for instance rather than don't move if you type in it's um, going to be easier to recognize those words and last one I'm going to put in is say here so we can see that these two um, these two action descriptions are available and we can act, uh, put these activation phrases in I'm going to uh, put some commands in for the second action that I've added and uh, key sequence again I'm going to say stop and I'm going to add another one called test and I'm going to put a space before the test and if we go back on the previous one I'm also going to put a space before the test okay so we can save this profile now and before we go move on to working on the activation keys I'm going to just look at uh, very quickly categories at the moment the default category is all but if we got if we start um, getting a long number of key sequences depending on your on your particular profile it's going to get unwieldy and hard to manage so you can't put the group your commands or your actions into uh, categories so if we choose a category setup here we can say for instance we're going to add movement here I'm going to say OK and if we want to change these commands into the category we can just choose the category and right click uh, choose a category and put it into whatever category you wish so we can look at all or we can look at movement or we can filter them out in that way so the last piece I'm going to look at here is the activation the um, 
the profile activation keys and we can see uh, we've got push to pu push to talk we've got three options here we've got default let me save the profile first of all we've got default um, we've got toggle and we've got arm now the difference between these three things are and um, the default one is essentially you've got to hold the key down in order to have vac to listen to your phrases the second one is it's a toggle so that if you click it once it switches it on it switches that uh, the listening on and if you click it again it switches it off and the final one which is the arm is uh, you arm it by by clicking that key pressing that key once and when it hears a phrase that it recognizes it will it will carry the action for that it will complete the action for that phrase and switch off again so essentially for that one you tap whatever key uh, your activation key is and then talk your phrase in and if your phrase is correct it switches it off again because you don't want it to be continuously on and listening for a whole pile of things which um, your which is not related to VAC it will try and interpret um, a whole lot of other words and give you false commands so I'm going to choose um, the uh, right control and I'm going to click on the arm uh, function because what I don't want to do is I, I want to just demonstrate those key sequences and I don't want to I don't want it to be interpreted I don't want the uh, software I use to interpret the control character which I've pressed as well as the keys but we're going to leave it at that um, and I'm going to save that profile and we can do a quick test of this by clicking on the test phrase below and it opens a new window for us and we can uh, click on the start button here and we can see the actions are taking place here so it was also listening to my speech and you'll see it working away there but it'll tell us that it that there's no activation key um, pressed when we're doing it so I'm going to click on the uh, control key remember we have it in arm mode so if I click on it once I'm gonna stop talking now and I'm gonna start talking in phrases Stealth. stop hold up do not move so we can see while we can see while um, I was tapping my arm key once and calling out the phrase it did recognize uh, the phrase and it gives the list of sequence and commands that uh, it's going to it's going to um, carry out or send to the operating system so that looks good for the moment so we're going to give that a quick trial move that out of the way and I'm just going to move uh, word in place here and we're going to click on that now in order to do that first of all um, I'm going to have to switch on VAC system at the moment we're just working on the builder and we've saved that profile so now we're going to work click on VAC system and if we look over here on our taskbar we can see uh, the symbol of the microphone switches on so this is to tell us that our system is ready and if we right click on that there is um, an option to load profile in which I'm going to choose that profile and I'm going to choose my new profile and you can see once we've chosen the profile the P comes up beside it and if we go if we go into it again right click again we click on vac on remember we have to switch it on also as it could be sitting there running but actually it's not switched on so there's two levels of switching it on there's the switching there's starting it up first of all then we switch it on and then we have to choose an activation key to get it to listen so you can see by the p and the o it's activated it's got a profile in and it's waiting to listen So we got back to our window screen and we're going to do a quick test of this now. So what I've got to do now is I've got to tap the control key and speak the phrase. And so I'm going to tap it now. Stealth. So you can see what it's done there. It's, um, it's issued those keystrokes to Word. If you were in game, it would be issuing those keystrokes into the game. 
So I'll just do a couple more and I'm just going to press return to keep the, the phrases separate and I'm going to hit the control key to activate them each time. Stop. Do not move. Be quiet. Okay, so that pretty much covers all I want to uh, explain uh, in this video. Um, there's uh, just one more thing, and that's the location of where the uh, profiles are. And for me, it's going to be in my user application data on the roaming. And I'm just going to drill down here, for example, and we can see. So that's the location. You can see, for me, it's that location where the profiles are held so you can you can look at the profile or XML profiles and if you want to dig in and, and um, adjust them in that way you can do that from there thank you very much for watching